Campbell. There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very, very excited today to be joined by my good friend, ex slash former business partner, Nick Andrews. Nick, what is up, my brother? How are you, man? I'm good, Jay. How are you doing today? I'm awesome, man. So Nick and I literally just did an incredible podcast. Wow, bro. Less than 10 days ago. uh, Actually, 11 days ago, actually, from today in San Jose, California, with the great Mind Pump guys with Sal and Adam and Doug and Justin. And they've already launched it, which was kind of mind blowing. We didn't even think it was going out until like middle of August. And it's already blowing up the airwaves. Uh, and there's a lot of questions from people all across the world um, about Nick and I's previous company. So we're literally doing this podcast, not from an emergency standpoint, but just to really clear up, um, you know, the misinformation and the disinformation that's out there as far as like what's happening between a seer and of course, Nick's new company, which is in Terra. Um, so I'll start off with just saying that Nick and I sold a seer in March of 2022. Uh, I think the deal finalized in early April, actually finalized at the end of March, but then, you know, we didn't get paid until April. We had to wait a little bit to get paid. Uh, we, we, we did really well in the sale. Uh, and then the company that purchased us, we won't mention their name, but uh, the company that purchased us was an equity company and they owed us one final inventory payment of somewhere around like $480,000 that they were supposed to pay <laughs> monthly through 2022 until December. But they asked Nick and I in May, or it might've actually been early June. It doesn't matter if they could uh, forestall the final payment till the end of the year and give us 10% interest. So, you know, Nick and I being, you know, reserved men and business people were like, yeah, no problem. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. And then towards the end of the year, We started getting weird indications from vendors, um, Nick more than me, because he communicated more with them than I did, that they weren't paying. And so we both kind of had this idea that like, uh oh, you know, Nick is much more patient than me. And he was like, just don't worry, everything will be fine. They'll pay us in the end of December. But I kind of had my spidey senses going off. And so anyway, long story short, they did not pay us, which was they were it was due. I remember where I was. I remember I was in Las Vegas for the A4M conference. I just got off the phone with our good friend Fairfax. And um, you messaged me and said, uh, you spoke to our attorney and that it was like, this is what we got to do. And so then we emailed them, um, or I emailed them, CC'd you, CC'd our broker, the original guy who helped us brokers the deal and said, Hey, what's going on? And of course they never responded. <laughs> so we're giving you guys in the marketplace, the backstory. So you understand what's happening. Uh, subsequently a seer is basically, and I'll let you talk about this is a zombie corporation because they are not paying a customer service team. Uh, we don't really know what's going on. It's really obviously not our business, but what we do know is that they somehow managed to, uh, broker some sort of a deal with their three PL, which is obviously their packaging and distribution company, um, to continue to sell down their inventory that you and I know they never paid for because that's what they owed us for. So that's kind of what's going on with the SEER Custom, but maybe talk a little bit about um, the differentiation. You know, before you get into differentiation, why should people not be buying from a SEER Custom? Because those are the questions that are coming in right now. Yeah, the fundamental answer is easy because Intera is a better product, better company. Um, you know, from the I mean, we'll just take a step back there, right? From the customer service angle, once again, neither of us know what the details are internally, but we know right. there's functionally no customer service that we're aware of. Right. And then on top of that, at least what I've heard from people, I know you've heard this from some people is that orders consistently showing up tends to be hit or miss. Right. Um, 
obviously we don't have any factual information to that. So a lot of this is word of mouth that we've been getting. Um, so, you know, you have two points. Number one, Intera is intended to be, and it already is, what we were planning on doing long run anyway. Right. Better products, advancing them further. I mean, for example, just look at Falton, right? Falton compared to Exano is day and night just from a user experience before you even get into results. Right. You know, it, it's single phase. It's not two components and a big giant mess to put on. Um, and on top of that, I mean, I think realistically, anybody who has dealt with Intera so far, I would certainly hope they'd be very happy with the customer service. And, you know, the thing about, you know, the way we ran business, the way I run business now, if you're not, let us know. We'll absolutely fix it. So, you know, that's that's one of our core I hate to sound too corporate here, core, you know, values or goals is nobody likes to buy from somebody you know, who is shitty customer service that, you know, you, you get the India call center or whatever. Right. Um, and it just works better for everybody because the customer service issues, you just make it right the first time shit happens and we all win. Thank you for calling us your custom. No. So, so, uh, so let's go back to what you just said. Cause I want to clarify some things for people that aren't familiar with you and me. So Nick is talking about the new hair product, which is called Folatin, which is basically a revolutionary upgrade over our previous peptide based hair product, which was called Oxano grow. And there were two versions of Oxano version one, version two. So the long, the long time Jay Campbell and Nick Andrews followers, which goes back to 2019 when we launched the company are very familiar with that product, but for their, all the newbies, who aren't, it was a very successful peptide-based hair product uh, that was in the marketplace for, again, three years. I mean, we have, like, amazing stories behind it. You know, go on my website or my YouTube channel and just search Oxano Grow, and you can watch the podcast and me and Nick talking about it. We had all sorts of amazing ups and downs with it, but it was a great product. Nick's talking about how it was a two-stage process or product in that A, uh, Serum A was GHK, copper peptide GHKCU, which is a, a blue liquid-based water or aqueous-based uh, serum that you massage into your scalp. And then B was carbon-60. And as you said, carbon-60, even though you made it in a really nice texturized product of uh, grapeseed oil extract with carbon-60, it still was messy. And as you know, the consumers in the West mostly are more is better, more is better. And so they would always like put too much in and they would complain to us that it's ruining my pillows, bro. Or, you know, the women would be like, it's all in my hair and it, it works, but my hair is greasy. So it's like, like you said, you massively improved it. Um, and I, and I look, I want to address this too right now, because obviously this is on the mind pump podcast and they even were making fun of you too, bro, which is insane. They obviously don't know your hair. Right. But like, I would be as you. Oh, know, I saw that comment. Yeah, so the hairline uh, isn't that good. <laughs> well, I want to be. I want to be very clear with people. I have nothing to hide. I would literally be bald if I did not have this product. Nick knows that. I mean, when he saw me in February, I was almost bald. I had not got Oxano because, as these, as Nick knows, and anybody who was purchasing from a seer knows, they didn't even have product. Now, obviously, before they went under or stopped paying vendors, they ordered a bunch of Oxano, and now they're still selling Oxano from their website, which is mind-blowing because there is no customer service. I want to address that, too. As you said, our customer service at Asir was absolutely fantastic. We had some of the best customer service in the world. You can look at our reviews. We even hired companies to call our customers. You know, we, we so did amazing to that point, job. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'll just throw some private business info out there. You know, when we were running a SEER, our return customer rate was from 35% to 45%, right. which is virtually unheard of. Exactly. And one of the big reasons for that is that we had next level customer service. We had a yes. team that just reached out to people. You would, yeah, and absolutely. it was funny. Most people thought it was a sales call the first time, didn't answer it. And our team would leave a message Hey, we're calling from a SEER. We want to see how uh, Oxano is going for you or how the skincare products. Do you have any questions? And it, that made people's freaking day. And it was all U.S. based. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And no, you're right, dude. Same we, team. The, 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 people need to understand that, that when we sold the company, which was, again, in March of 2022, we were gone. They had three people from our organization that managed the entire deal and were managing some of their other companies, but they had nothing to do with the customer service. And then basically, 
Uh, they they let everyone go. go. Yeah, they let everyone go. I think it was the third third week of November, second week of November. And basically, they've had literally no customer service since then. So look, if you're an Asir customer buyer right now, you're watching this podcast or you're watching the rerun of this podcast, um, I will tell you this right now that basically from December till now, they don't have customer service. I have logged into their, as you know this, I've logged into their Twitter and their Instagram, even though I was turned off, you know, sometimes as demonic social media companies, if you just like keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them and say change password, <laughs> they let me in. So I've gone in and I've told Dick this and I've never seen such horrible feedback from <laughs> from the public i mean i mean people going after and 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 look there were a lot of people in both twitter and instagram that were like there's no way that jay campbell or nick andrews are behind this company because they would not let this happen i told you i sent no. you a bunch of those on whatsapp yeah. so i know for a fact that all of this happened after we lost the company not lost the company but sold the company yeah. and deeper into this year there's it's just been a disaster now again i just I'm saying this from a literally point of clarification. I want to be able to forward this uh, podcast to people who message you and me and our CEO now or the CEO of Entera and say, like, what the hell is going on? You know, because here's the questions and you know this, but the, the main questions that people are sending across social media right now is like, wait a minute. What product do I need to buy? I'm currently buying a Sears Royal Blue Serum and Oxano Grow, but now I heard you got a better product. What should I do? Now, the answer is you can do whatever you want. It's a free world, right? For now. But <laughs> the, the, the reality is, is that, as Nick said, and I'm saying and backing him up, and again, I'm using the product myself right now to have the hair that I have on my head. Uh, Folleton is a night and day improvement over Oxano Grow. And the two new skin products, which I literally was just given by him when I was at the podcast, in San Jose, Monica is using and raves about them. So I know those are also better. And you can go into it and talk about, you know, how it has arginine. Um, and you've improved the uh, formulation in different ways. There's obviously the, the, the hair product. You can talk about that right now, too. But so if you're a buyer of Oxano or Royal Blue Serum or Sky Blue Cream, there's two reasons, okay, right now, why you must switch and stop. First off, if you want to get into the details, you can. We just told you Asir is a zombie company. When they run out of inventory, that's it, okay? The song and the dance will be over. They will not be buying any more inventory. They will not be upgrading their product lines. They are done. So anybody right now who's on a subscribe and save program with them or still currently buying their products, you will not have access to them until for much longer or until their inventory runs out. And then obviously second and primarily foremost and most important point is that the Intera product lines are night and day better products. And it's exactly like Nick said. It's what we did, what we wanted to do with the Sear with Intera now. That's what Nick has done. He's improved the products. We took three years of knowledge from the marketplace of what not to do. And now that's what the basically the products are. So do you, do you want to separate them a little bit more by talking about like what's in the hair product from a peptide st standpoint? Yeah, so I mean, realistically, so we don't turn this into an hour-long podcast. Yeah. Um, we go into that fairly deep in the mind uh, mind pump podcast. That's probably a good place to go to go into the Definitely. details. But the the quick and dirty version is essentially we are primarily using just uh, carbon sixty, uh, fullerene, and GHKCU in the previous hair product. And you know, at this point, um, I obviously had already been doing my homework then. There are multiple other peptides um, that, when used together, um, just boost the effects through multiple pathways, which gets to the whole issue of hair loss, right? Um, yes, DHT is involved, but it's far more complex than DHT. So you got to look at the big picture. And, you know, we went into a long spiel uh, all through that on the Mind, pa Mind Pump podcast. So it's a great place to go catch up on all those details. And as you pointed out, and as I said earlier, it's also just functionally easier to use. The original version, it, mm -hmm. it was messy, right? We, yeah. we never denied that and wouldn't say otherwise. Uh, yeah, this really is functionally no different than using minoxidil or any other topical that you would put in your hair. And yeah. as you said, um, and you know, as we tell our customers now is it's not about how much you put on, right? Because the scalp can only absorb so much. So, you know, 
bathing your head in it isn't really going to give you better results than, you know, applying a light amount that the scalp can sufficiently absorb. Exactly. And look, so obviously I've been testing the beta versions since Nick gave them to me, I think literally on my birthday. Remember you gave it to me on my birthday. You flew down to Mexico and saw me. And then the next day I almost died, right? Whatever, whatever I had. And then three days later, you almost died. Yep. (laughs) They're they're still hitting us with all sorts of, you know, uh, bioweapons that are being brought across the seas by people and stuff. But anyway, just, you know, a very true story for people. And and, and Nick just hit it, but I want to like really, really hammer this home. Like less is more with this product. You absolutely do not ever need or require to saturate your scalp, to saturate your hair, with this product to think you're going to get better results by doing that. Now, I'm not saying you can't add it, you know, twice a day, morning and night. And I do want to go over for all the guys that are going to say, well, you know, cause I do want to, you know, do our typical DHT attack on DHT and why we do that. And, you know, but obviously it's for solution based. Now, as Nick said, I'm going to link to this mind pump podcast. It is absolutely without question by far and away, and I've gotten feedback from outside of the Mind Pump and Jay Campbell and Nick Andrews universe on this too, the best podcast ever on hair loss, on the mechanisms of action, on what to do, on how we've solved it, on what the true cause of hair loss is. So you're right. We're not going to beat that horse to death, but I literally have five bottles of this still. Nick gave me two in February. He gave me two more uh, at the end at the doctor's conference, right at the end of April, you mailed it to me. And then he gave me this <clears throat> literally what was it? July 22nd. And I still have all five bottles and guys, I'm not kidding you. I usually use it at least once a day, five or six days a week. Sometimes I'm traveling. I forget. So now granted I have shorter hair, but it, it's still the same thing. You know, Hunter Williams was talking about this last night. He's got long hair. If you have long hair, you have to separate it, you know, with a pick or a comb or something and then get it into the base of the scalp, not into your hair. And so many women and again, longer haired men make this mistake where they rub it in Nick and then they're like, Oh, I can't get it to my scalp. And then they pour more in. So all you really have to do is just separate your hair. And I know I don't have as long a hair as somebody that did and then rub it into your scalp. And again, you know, another thing that people do is they get confused about is like, if you have thick, long hair, (laughs) You don't have the hair loss that somebody like me has, right? So you're really only putting it into the scalp areas where it's thinning. Now, I also hear women say, yeah, but, you know, I've got shedding. Okay, well, then that's fine. Put it into the scalp area where it's shedding. But, again, you don't have to saturate your scalp. And that's why, you know, so many people – uh, come back at us and complain. And you also know this, you know, the biggest complaint on the mind pump podcast from, you know, the internet trolls or the YouTube trolls is, geez, man, I guess I got to make $500,000 a year to buy Jay and Nick's product. Right. And it's like, no guys, we're literally telling you that if you use this product correctly, it's not going to cost you more than a hundred dollars a month. Now, if you yes. can't afford a hundred dollars a month to literally no exaggeration, keep the fucking hair on your head then you're then we, then you know what you're right x out unsubscribe stop watching this podcast because you know you're not working hard enough in your life i mean dude a hundred dollars i mean that's one weekend of going out and pounding brews yeah so you know we do listen to the feedback and as you point out a common fee- piece of feedback we have especially from women uh you know starting to get to middle age, they've been dyeing their hair forever, or whatever yep. other hair treatment, and they're starting to get some thinning, you know, maybe it's due to hormonal state. Yep. And, you know, so for that, it, you know, right now we're targeting around the end of the year to release uh, essentially a conditioner that has a similar uh, formulation to fault in. It would be intended to be a leaving conditioner. So two or three times a week, you know, obviously, because that complicates your I've learned enough about women's hair care at this point. Yeah. That, uh, you know, I understand how much that complicates, you know, the hair care routine. So, you know, just on a regular basis, apply it two or three times a week, leave it in overnight, wash it out in the morning and boom, done. Right? You know, you yep. is using it like a conditioner and that's what it would be formulated for. And it would also be formulated to be very frank at a lower strength in follow because you're not trying to regrow. You're trying to improve the health. So by doing that, that also allows it to be 
somewhat competitive in a conditional format where, hey, while you're in your shower, do the rest of your shower routine, you know, you know, squeeze all the water out of your hair so you're not holding any bulk water in your hair, then work it in and then go about your evening. Yeah. Same thing yeah. for men. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, and I'm glad we're having this podcast to talk about this because these are just like little things that, you know, in the past when we were aggressively attempting to market it to the marketplace, we weren't really thinking about this line of stuff. And now we're past those yeah. days. You know, the, the product sells itself, that people know about the product. It's more important for us to get on, you know. And, and by the way, let me uh, be very clear. Like, I do not have an ownership stake in Antera like I had as an ownership stake in uh, Oxano. And it's not because um, Nick and I are not friends or not doing business together anymore. It's just he knows I'm so busy and all the other things. Now, I do have an ownership stake in something else that we're going to be talking about before this podcast is co- going over. But I want people to know that, you know, so if you email me and say, hey, bro, like, why aren't you returning the voice, the, the customer service messages anymore? Because uh, I'm not involved in customer service. But uh, but no, yeah, I mean, so- I I, but let people know, you're like, like obviously, I'm in, I am the master affiliate. I am promoting it all over the place. I am bringing in other influencers and affiliates and promoters and whatnot in there. So, I mean, even though I don't have an ownership stake in the company, I mean, you might as well consider me still a part of the company because obviously I position it like I do. Yeah. So, you know, if people have questions that they want to reach out, obviously, uh, the contact emails on the website. Uh, yep. We also have uh, a Twitter account and an Instagram account. They're both fairly new, so not a lot of content yet. But if you just want to reach out through there, whether a post, a question, a DM, I mean, it, it, it's actively managed and monitored. So I saw uh, that. You're even responding on YouTube comments with uh, Entera. And I was like, that's yep. got to be Nick. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Um, well, yeah. So, I mean, guys, obviously, if you're, if you're going to leave a comment or a quote, you're going to get an answer. But, yeah, go to it's. And by the way, I should put it up. I'll put it up in a second. It's enteraskincare.com. Okay. It's not a seer custom.com. Dude, I've told you this. Like, I, in the last four days since the Mind Pump podcast blew, which is crazy. It's been four days already yeah. Uh, because they did drop it on Sunday night and didn't tell us, of course, typical. <laughs> uh, uh, I probably have legitimately more than 50 messages from people saying, what do I do? I, I don't understand. I, I listen to the podcast. What, what product do I buy? I mean, it's literally like, what do I do? And it's like, uh, well, the first couple ones I was looking at, I was like, what do you do? What the fuck are you talking? And then I realized oh. that they were talking what product do I so buy? to that point, you know, you've shared a lot of messages with me. One is like, well, what about the the cream and serum, right? Yep. So, you know, full transparency, the current cream is exactly the same as the old one. If, yep. You know, there's a time and a place where something you know ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Um, everybody absolutely loved the cream like that. The serum we have improved uh, with arginine that increases blood flow, which helps stimulate the results from using that in multiple manners. Yep. And so those two products, you know, so, you know, the serum is, or I'm sorry, the the cream is the same as before. The serum does have additional ingredients in it to improve its effectiveness. And as everybody who was using them before knows, they work very, very well together or independently, whichever works best for you and your skincare. Are you currently suffering from a testosterone deficiency? Are you already using therapeutic testosterone? If you are, go to tottdecoded.com forward slash 10 dash questions and find out the top 10 questions you need to be asking your doctor about therapeutic testosterone. These are critical questions to ask your doctor. If they can't answer them, you need to find another doctor. And I'm glad you said that because they're cheaper right now than even a seer. So it's like, you know, Nick and I don't ever really get into pricing, but like there, if you want a real reason to probably go first to Intera, you might check that out. So no, honestly, <laughs> like the truth is, is like literally Nick is selling the product actually at a lower cost than he absolutely should, because we already know we have my marketplace viability, but we're doing that or he's doing that. The company's doing that because they, we do understand that there is a little bit of just confusion in the marketplace right now. And I, what I didn't say, and I really want all you guys to know, especially the nerdies that watch this, which there are many, and I love all of you guys, um, you know, 
the reason Nick is literally putting this company out there is because when they stopped paying us, they broke the non-compete that we signed. So we don't have a non-compete. So Nick can make any company. I can make any company. You know, we agreed to a non-compete, you know, when you sell a company for a nice number. But they broke their uh, end of the deal or broke the ing the engagement or the contract or whatever you want to say it. So this is why this is happening. And again, it's always the best things happen. You know, the universe, you know, allows things to happen. And we didn't see ourselves, you know, being back in the game as fast as we could do. So, I mean, everything worked out exactly as it's supposed to. So just to wrap on a seer, um, if you're still buying the products, you, you know, you have a subscribe and save deal. Just realize it's not going to go on for my, probably much longer. We've kind of estimated that they're probably going to be, and we don't know this for sure, but we're, they're probably going to be out of inventory. What would you say, bro, by like November, October? Could be. And, yeah. you know, to a point, if you don't mind me just being a salesman, yeah. number one, our prices are better. And number two, yep. we offer subscribe and save. So if you're doing subscribe and save, I mean, go over to the other company if you Makes like no throwing sense. away money. Yeah. Otherwise, right. you know. Yeah. So that's that. So let's talk a little bit about where we're going. So obviously you guys know with the pep, the success of the peptides book that Nick and I wrote in the early part of this year, which by the way, dude, I owe you commission right now. Actually, I just thought of that <laughs> three months worth. Uh, but, but, uh, the peptide book is completely blown up and, um, we've been in the top five on Amazon for literally since it launched on February 1st in like six categories, you know, I was in like the Amazon prime authors deal and I was the number one book of the entire promotion or we were the number one book of the entire promotion. Um, so it's just, it's killing it. And obviously, and we have to say this because you and I know, and, 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 you know, a lot of credit goes to Nick because he was one of the first people in the public sphere. I literally just wrote an email about you about this. You, you don't know because it hasn't gone out yet, but uh, he was one of the first credible people in the public sphere to tell people what was really happening with the, with the Jabbo. You can say the Jabbo. <laughs> and, you know, looking back on the things in the podcast and the live streams that we, we did, you and I did, which were many, it's insane. I mean, it's almost like, don't like, dude, like we were prophets or Nostradamus. I mean, because everything you've said has come to fruition. Um, and so at the end of the day right now, the re the main reason, even though this sucks, it, it, it just, it's the truth that bio rate, I mean, uh, I just gave the, I let the cat out of the bag. Peptides are doing so well is because people are harmed from the jab and they're looking for alternative therapy forms or alternative healing forms or whatever. They're obviously giving up on allopathic or quote unquote Western medicine because they've been lied to, scammed, whatever. And so they're looking at peptides and obviously our book was in like right place at the right time. You're doing all sorts of consulting. You're working with all sorts of doctors. You know, it, it's like, it's become this own big thing, but the next thing, right? So here we are. We're like most people, 90% of people don't even know what the fuck a peptide is. And you and I have been like using peptides for more than a decade. Well, what? More than 30 <laughs> years, more than 30 years, I think combined. Yeah. But the reality is it's already shifting. And the next big thing is bioregulators. Now I'm going to let you talk about bioregulators. I will just say that, uh, you know, the, in the back of the peptides book that we wrote, there's a whole chapter on bioregulators. We've written like five articles on jcampbell.com about bioregulators. But guys and gals, I am not bullshitting you when I tell you this. Bioregulators are the next big thing, mostly because they're not injectable. Now, Nick will tell you that bioregulator injectables are better than the oral <laughs> capsules. Like we know, we all know that the highest impact delivery system for anything normally is injection. But um, the bioregulators are mostly capsules. So the barrier of entry is dramatically improved. And most people, when they understand what these things do, which I'm going to let you talk about that, are going to want to use them. Now, I'm not joking when I say, you know, most people, Nick, that care about their health are taking like a fucking daily vitamin, right? Or a, yeah. a multi-mineral supplement. Now, what if you could take a daily vitamin slash multi-mineral supplement for every organ and biological system in your body so that as you aged, you didn't age. I mean, basically, that's what bioregulators are doing. So anyway, talk about bioregulators. Yeah, so bioregulators, yeah, the, the names get confusing because bioregulators are technically a form of peptide. Yeah. You know, pep, you, you have amino acids, you have peptides, and you have proteins. The only difference is the length of the chain, how many amino acids are stacked together. Yep. So the point of that being that bioregulators are 
uh, peptides. But what makes them different is this. So bioregulators are generally very, very small, uh, anywhere from maybe three to 10 amino acids. Most peptides are actually quite a bit bigger than that, um, you know, from 20 up to a couple hundred amino acids. And another big difference, and this is fascinating. So bioregulators were developed in Russia. They've actually been through a huge number of studies, clinical trials, up, down, left, and right, but all in Russia, right? Because the West likes to ignore their stuff. Yep. So... What they found, they actually did radioisotope labeling. And you can give a human, you can give an animal a uh, bioregulator orally, and it goes straight to the organ system. It's supposed to naturally. It, it's freaking magic, right? It just goes. Um, and that's pretty wild when you think about it. The other thing is, which is inherent in that statement, but I'm going to point out specifically, is that they survive passing through the stomach. Which, you know, a common question we hear all the time, oh, can I, can I just, you know, essentially drink BPC to fix my gut? Well, no, not normal BPC, not really any normal peptide as we're used to the term because it'll be destroyed by the gastric acid as soon as it hits it. So bioregulators survive passing through the stomach. Now, let me also take a step back. What are bioregulators in actuality? Every organ system in your body produces a set of peptides. In this case, we're using the name bioregulators. These bioregulators are epigenetic signaling molecules that tell your body how to function that specific organ system in a healthy, youthful state. And, you know, from all the data that was built in uh, Russia and some other places, you know, they've directly shown that as you age, the concentration, the amount of a bioregulator in any specific organ system drops. That's essentially a hallmark of aging. Yeah. So organs begin to lose the ability to repair themselves, regenerate, just keep up with daily wear and tear. So by taking them, you're essentially reverse aging the organ system. So it's not going to magically heal you overnight. What it's doing when you're taking them is it's epigenetically switching the, the tissue in that specific organ system so, you know, for instance, if you were to take, we'll use an easy one here, right? Um, testes for testicular function. Uh, so testes bioregulator. As you age, uh, function of the testes is going to drop. It's part of aging, right? And that hallmark is your the bioregulators in that specific tissue are dropping. So by taking that, the level of bioregulators in that specific tissue is increasing, which means now it can begin to regenerate wear and tear and damage that had been accumulating that it hadn't been able to, which is going to improve function across the board. It's not just, I'm going to increase LH, luteinizing hormone, or I'm yeah. just going to increase whatever else, because there's a large number of functions in each and every organ system. Yeah, so You're improving everything about it. Now, one thing people do need to be aware of, right? And this is partially comes down to route of administration. When you inject something, it hits hard and fast. Think NAD. You, you can take an oral NAD supplement and you're like, oh, okay, maybe I feel it a little bit if I'm training hard. If you inject NAD sub Q or you do IV, you're like, holy shit, I feel that. That's a serious head rush. So route of administration makes a big difference. So when you're taking bioregulators orally, most of them, the effects are subtle and develop over anywhere from two to four weeks. There are a few examples. So, for example, with men, if you stack the testes and the prostate bioregulator, um, most guys, to be just very blunt and very frank about it, <laughs> over the age of no, you're back. Guys, I, 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 after about a week, maybe two weeks, but most guys within a week or so, um, just man, well, quality of morning wood, to be very frank, is going to be through the roof and just sexual function will have obvious improvement. So I, I think they took us down. So you might have to go back like one minute, but I heard uh, quality of morning. Did you go down at all on your side? I, it, it went down twice on my side. It didn't go down on your side at all? No, you froze for a moment though. Oh my God, dude. Unbelievable. So go back to just, so just go back like talking about morning wood and, and uh, the, the prostate bioregulator for the test. Yeah. Bioregulator. So, you know, the, uh, the example was if you stack, you, know, you take both the testes and prostate bioregulator. Yeah within a week to a week and a half, you will have an observable effect because even if you don't have prostate issues, right? By the time you're 40, you know, you're having to get up and pee every so often in the middle of the night 
Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice that goes away. Um, yeah. Quality of morning erections, part of the natural testosterone cycles uh, peaking in the morning. Obviously, guys, let's be honest, you notice that decreases once you start getting around 40 or so, right? Yeah. Um, but after about a week, maybe two weeks on that stack on testes uh, and prostate bioregulator, yeah, you're like, am I 25 again? Like, what's up? Honey, so so full, <laughs> full disclosure on that, like I am 52 years old. And if I could go an entire night without having to wake up to take a piss, I would be the happiest guy on the planet. So obviously, personally, I want to start using the testes and, and the um, prostate bioregulator. But as you know, Nick, the problem is that the bioregulator supply on this planet is FUBAR. And the majority of people that sell bioregulators uh, actually sell smoke and mirrors, you know, who take people's money and then don't ship the products or even worse, ship you half of the products that you pay for and order. I mean, honestly, guys, I could go on and on and on. I mean, look, in truth, the, the bioregulator company right now that I have an affiliate relationship for, which is obviously – our friend Phil Mikens at anti-aging system slash, um, what is it? Um, God, I can't even think of what they're called. Pro is it profound health? I can't even think of the company yeah, right now, so. but yeah, it's profound health, but uh, it's just jcampbell.com forward slash bioregulators. They're rarely in stock there. Okay. And, and, and it's a true story. And I can say this now because the owners know about it and they're embarrassed, but they're like, you know what, make a joke out of it. Who cares? It's kind of the story of bioregulators. Uh, before I had Phil Mikens on the podcast, before I actually met you, or no, it was actually the day that I met you. It was when you came down to Mexico when we were at the restaurant. I made the order right there. I bought twenty five hundred dollars worth of bio oh, that's right, you did. and they never showed up. Now, I thought it was Mexico, right? You know, like shame on me. I'm ordering into Mexico. I knew better, but they were like, "Oh no, we deliver to every country, no problem. We get in through Mexican customs." And so then it never showed up like two months later. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on, right? I never got an email from customer service. I, as you know, I emailed their customer service and I literally didn't get a response. Now, normally I would be like, okay, that's fine. But this is the, this is the guy who had run a huge campaign for their company through my podcast, through the article that Tom wrote on their bioregulator. I think it was vent for it, which is the blood pressure mm -hmm. you know, or the, you know, the, the venous, the blood pressure bioregulator, really awesome bioregulator, but uh, and, and, and crushed it, you know, and made all this money in sales and, and, and they, they owed me commission. And so they never responded to me. So I was like, what the, f so I sent an email to Phil and of course their owner, um, and they were cool and they were like, we're so sorry. And they credited me immediately back and they even gave me a code, but bro, this podcast is being made on August 2nd. I'm so excited because it's coming out next Monday. So I can actually say my queue and my podcast is so far down, but I still haven't used it. Because as you know, they still don't have a lot of the bioregulators that you we write articles about and talk about. So with that set up, Nick and I are going to have, in a perfect world, a bioregulator company. And that is coming, I would say, I don't want to give you guys any hard and fast dates, but both Nick and I anticipate that before November, that's probably a, a, an okay estimate, you think? Yeah, I mean, right now... Uh, you know, unless universe decides to kick us in the rear end, it, it should be live for uh, fourth quarter. So we're not even going to tell you guys the name yet. We know what the name is, but we're not going to tell you the name because as Nick said, things change, trademark, <laughs> trademark things come and happen. So we're not even going to tell you the name, but the good news is that we are absolutely 100% launching a bioregulator company. Wheels are in motion. Uh, we're speaking to people and buying, hopefully, in sizable increments. So there's not going to be an issue with uh, supply like you guys have all been dealing with. Because, again, as you know, bro, like almost everyone on the planet looking to buy bioregulators right now has either been hustled. I don't want to say scammed, uh, you know, or just been shut out because they don't have them. And, and again, I mean, I, I'm one of them. And you and I yeah. both know 100 people each who bought from, and we won't name companies, but bought from other companies and didn't even get them delivered. Yeah. Took I mean, so that's the challenge in the bioregulator world, world right? Um, you, you could have them made anywhere. You know, the sequences for them are known, you know, uh, peptides from a technical standpoint aren't hard to make, you know, amino acid chains. Um, but the flying the ointment is that the Cavinson Institute, who originally developed them, um, they essentially have some secret sauce 
uh, process that allows them to produce them essentially in order of magnitude cheaper than anybody else. So if you you could get them made here in the U.S. and you're never going to be able to sell them based on the price of existing bioregulators. You'd have to charge three, four, five times as much and you're not going to sell them. So yeah. being able to get a reliable supply that's functionally coming out of the Kavinson Institute, you know, it is like finding a freaking unicorn. Yeah. And, you know, that, that's something we've been working on for a while. Uh, you know, it looks like we have it locked down at this point. So, you know, the idea is to do it right, do it big enough so that you can meet demand, small, large, you know, spikes, you know, 10 podcast, you know, mind pump does a podcast on bioregulators. Then right. cool. We've got the supply, not a problem. Right. Exactly. Are you using therapeutic peptides? Are you a new user, maybe an advanced user? Maybe you're considering starting peptides. Highly recommend going to the link right below the peptidescourse.com forward slash 10 dash mistakes and download my PDF and learn what not to do before starting therapeutic peptides. And, and look, you know, the reality is, is, you know, we all have relationships in the marketplace and, you know, what will come from this if we end up becoming the biggest bioregulator supplier, which is our intention in the marketplace, is other better relationships. You know, some of the companies that we are partnered with and various alliances or I affiliate for or whatever may be involved in buying bioregulators from us too, you know, from a white label standpoint. So I leave everything open. But again, the reason that we're, for all of you guys out there, the reason we're getting involved is to eliminate the BS, to alleviate the supply chain issues. That's why we want to do this. There are too many people now in our neck of the woods slash inner circles slash communities who want bioregulators and are basically like saying, hey man, like we're willing to invest because we see the value of these things. And you know, as you said too, dude, the truth is, is that, and you said this three years ago, but 90% of people, bro, are still not going to use peptides because they're not going to fucking inject them. Let's just be honest. Bottom line, they're not going to inject anything in their body. They're scared shitless of a needle, even though we know it doesn't do anything. It's like brushing your teeth after you do it once or hey, twice. Even, even on top of that, I mean, look at you and I. You and I both have days where you're like, dude, I'm sick of being a, a pincushion. Right. Like, right. I, I'm just not feeling it this week. Okay, cool. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to run bioregulators for a while. <laughs> and the other cool thing about bioregulators and – there really is not a peptide equivalent to this is there is a bioregulator basically for every organ every system. single thing yeah so the cool thing is the, the point of bioregulators is you don't take a bioregulator forever um yeah. you, you take it for one month maybe two yeah. and you would do that maybe twice a year maybe three times a year depends on your personal state of health if you have any specific health challenges at the moment but otherwise, just from a, a longevity, optimization, anti-aging standpoint, you just cycle through them. E even if you're like, you know what, I, I don't have any kidney issues. Okay, cool. But I'm, I'm going to run kidney bioregulators for a month because you're essentially reverse <laughs> aging that tissue by doing so. Exactly. Exactly. All right, my brother. Well, this has like been a perfect podcast. It separates uh, the wheat from the chaff, it gives people clarity on like what's going on in the marketplace. You know, we broke the news. You know, a lot of people are going to be like, dude, you know, you didn't talk anything about it. Well, it's so early. We can't really talk about it. You know, we can just give you guys the good news that obviously our intentions are pure and that we really want to get out into the marketplace uh, and, and end all of this, you know, supply chain inventory crash stuff that's going on with bioregulators so anyway stay tuned for more of that oh i know I, I just realized that we forgot one other thing so also and let me just put this up here right now by the way um so again it's in terraskincare.com and if you use my code which is j-a-y-c and i'm pretty sure it's not case sensitive you can take an extra 10 percent off your purchase now remember I know a lot of you guys are like, wait a minute, bro. It used to be J15 or, you know, 15% discount. I know you're saying 10. Their prices are already way lower than we were at a Sears. So trust me, you're still doing fine. You got, there's no change. There's no difference. It's just, I get less. Okay. But it, look, here's the truth. Um, this is the best hair product in the world. Okay. Please listen to the mind pump podcast. 
Again, Folatin is the hair product now that from Enterra Skin Care. But listen to the Mind Pump podcast. We did the podcast two years ago with Ben, as you know, uh, which was profound at the time. And then we wrote the article that actually then snippets appeared in the New York Times. Uh, it's not. It's on obviously Ben Greenfield's website. It's on my website. But you know, if you want to understand the true mechanism of hair loss, which is again blood flow restriction to the scalp, read that article. Uh, obviously, I'm going to link to all those things in this podcast. I mean, uh, in this video which is a podcast, uh, but make sure you watch the mind pump podcast. Nick was sensational. Uh, the guys at mind pump were blown. I mean, obviously I spoke, I, I talked him up to the mind pump guys and they were like, dude, this guy better be something else because <laughs> for you to say that, you know, and obviously, as you know, dude, like it, it's an honor. I mean, like, I think I'm the only person that's been on the mind pump podcast three times. Right. So it's like, Damn. That's pretty amazing. And, and, you know, and I knew you were going to live up to what you did, but you guys got to watch the podcast because Nick is absolutely sensational. Uh, and there, by the way, there's no editing to that podcast. That was absolutely free form one hour and 26 minutes or 23 minutes or whatever it was. They did not do a single edit. And Doug actually emailed me four days later and he's like, bro, there's not a single edit in the podcast. I'm like, you guys didn't even clip it to like make it better. And he's like, Nope. The only thing we did was just clip to put the ad in the beginning and to have Sal's, you know, speak over at the beginning, but the podcast is free flowing. So that's how good it is. And again, I've heard people tell me from outside our community. They're like, bro, that's next level stuff. Did you guys really prep for that? I'm like, no, Nick just was Nick, you know, I literally just had a conversation, man. No, but I mean, like, I didn't even say much. I just sat in the background. I was like, whoa. I mean, like, and, and, and obviously Sal is amazing, right? Like he was, oh, very dude. Yeah. Oh, yes. he was very prepared. Level. And he, he, he knew the talking points and, and look, we didn't even do any prep for them either. So again, shout out to the mind pump guys. We love those guys. Uh, I'm very grateful. Nick's grateful. Uh, hopefully we'll do some more stuff with them in the future. <clears throat> um, but didn't go to enteraskincare.com. Use my code JC. Uh, get the Folleton hair product. As Nick said, get on the subscribe and save program. Save more. If you are a current customer of a Sear Custom that you won't be for much longer, so go over here where the products are better, the products are cheaper. Uh, I think something you didn't talk about, which I wanted to mention just to say, is that they will, because again, we get a lot of that. We will. They will have a beard product. And Nick already mentioned they're going to have a conditioning product for people that have regrown their hair and are just using it now from a maintenance standpoint, right? And that is true, and we do talk about that, and we talked about that before. A lot of people will regrow their hair completely, and they won't need to use it every day. And most people, as you know, Nick, are mind-blown at that. They're like, that's bullshit. You got to use it for life. And it's like, no, you don't. Now, I personally have androgenic alopecia, and I have hair because of the damn product. Uh, if I stop using the product for six months, my hair will get thinner. So for someone like me, I do have to use it pretty regularly. And for me, regularly is like two or three times a week. Uh, but I'm right now, I'm using it literally every other day, right? Because I'm home. I'm not traveling. I'm not even having to remember it. Sits there on my counter in the morning. Yep. I take a shower. I massage it into my scalp. And again, look, there's videos all over the website. We're not going to talk about that today. But again, it's a scalp health product. It's not a hair regrowth product even though it regrows your hair you put it into your scalp and you massage it into your scalp and using red light optimizing your mitochondria again nick said it's all in the mind pump podcast we talk about like what to do the one thing we didn't talk about which we'll mention really quick which is in the mind pump podcast again but we'll say it here is if you are a minoxidil or finasteride or dutasteride user and you're a long-term user and you now want to come off because you realize how poor it is for your cellular health I'll let you say how to do it, but you just separate it, right, from morning to night, your dosage. Yeah. So, it, you know, there's a couple variations on that. So if you don't mind me putting it this way, Jay, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would suggest anybody listen to this who's looking because there's a million questions from the serum, the cream, the hair stuff. And, you know, we already have a ton of questions customer service wise. Yep. So, you know, we're about to essentially just have a cascade of blog posts we're putting out to the mailing list that says, hey, here's a question. Now we're going to give you all 15 versions of the answer, depending nice. on your situation, your health state. So it, it's just going to make it a lot easier for everybody. And, you know, we love the questions. So keep them coming. But fundamentally, that's the easiest way to get the answer to everybody. And obviously, those will be posted on the website as they get developed. But if you just want them showing up in your mailbox, 
It's a good way to do it. That's a good selling point. Look at you all becoming salesy and stuff. But uh, the last thing I'll just say. And hey, this I hung more, out with you long enough. Yeah, you have. Uh, you've learned a good lesson. Uh, the, the last thing I'll say is, that, and this link will be in the bottom of this podcast, and this is not salesy at all. Uh, and I'm glad I, I'm glad you just said what you just said because I would have forgotten. And then Jason would have been like, bro. So we we actually recreated or not recreated, but created a really awesome, I think it's a 16 email email sequence that's on a website. It's a sales page for a seer, a seer for Entera. And it's called regrowyourhair.org. Now, again, I'm going to link to it. I'm not even going to put it up on right now as a, as a talking point, but it's regrowyourhair.org. And it's an amazing pl- uh, uh, location on the web because you will go there as a man or woman and you will take a questionnaire that will determine the quality and the uh, uh, causal agents of your hair loss. And then once you go down the you know the quiz funnel and figure out what it is, then you will be opted in. And you don't have to stay opted in if you don't want, yeah. but you can be retarded and, and foolish to opt out of it. Um, there's like a 16 or 17 email that literally will now break down – all of the causal reasons for hair loss relative to your type of hair loss. So if you're a woman and you have hormonally related hair loss, right, or you have autoimmune dysregulation and you're having thinning and, you know, the hair is falling out, you want to be in that email because you're going to get so much information. I think it's we set it up for every other day over two weeks. Mm-hmm. But you're going to get absolutely the best information on the planet, I'm not joking, on what to do to manage and to enhance and and solve your type of hair loss. So again, if you're a guy like me and you have androgenic alopecia and you're balding, how do and what do you do? Obviously, in, in addition to using Folatin, what do you do to keep your hair? And so again, we spent a lot of time, our copywriters spent a lot of time in building this out. We went through the science and the research. There's a lot of deep links in this. It's highly, highly recommended for you if you are a person who is suffering from some form of hair loss now to opt into that uh, page. Again, it's regrowyourhair.org. The link will be in the bottom of this podcast. Um, If you're suffering from hair loss right now, please go to enteraskincare.com and, of course, use my code JC to to save 10%. And I think we're done, man. Do you have any final words? No, it's uh, onward and upward to building awesome things. Yeah, for sure, my brother. Okay, man, I love you. All right, guys, remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see all of you guys very soon.